Hi, this is Cheryl D. Miller, and um, I'm so happy to be able to be here to share my story with you. I'm best known in performing as a graphic designer. I'm the primary designer and president of then Cheryl D. Miller Design New York, New York, Inc. And we're now known, and I guess I was regarded then as well, as uh, the social impact corporate communications firm uh, of the mid 80s. Our clients were Fortune 500 corporations who were interested in introducing multicultural, multi ethnic, multi racial iconography into its corporate communication collateral. In addition, I'm also known as a trade writer, and my articles are primary sources for the industry's beginning discussions of design equality and inclusion discussions in the graphic design industry. The frustration and experience during the civil rights era, getting uh, admissions into art school, that's the first place where I became challenged as um, a young teen from Washington, D.C., wanting to study art. So I entered into Micah's graphic design program and was totally inspired because of a unique perspective I had had as a child. And I lecture about it now, um, where it's just fascinating that my scholarship and my work now, I'm able to connect the dots of my design story. We can decolonize design by really education. And uh, one of the things that I do is I use the practices of critical race theory, revisionist historical um, tools to illuminate the academy and the canon to allow new and other voices to occupy center stage. I've dedicated my life to being a mentor. I've been helping in doing this because I had no one as a designer. But uniquely, as a writer, I have had incredible support. And my lifelong academic coach, Dr. Leslie King Hammond, I had a variety of freelancers that did a variety of things in the firm, but I had two designers that were staffed. And I have to give them honor, uh, Danita Albert and Treya Price. Cheryl Miller, then and that still now, is an advocate for African-American designers to really have that opportunity and have that networking and um, the encouragement and the direction that you know we needed and that young people even today need you know, as an African-American designer to pass on, you know, your knowledge and just give people an opportunity to design. I feel that she gave me a kind of confidence um, that allowed me to be unafraid to explore. Um, I really truly arrived at her office curious if I was a designer and I left certain that it was my path. You know, I'm, I'm very proud that so many of, so many designers that I've been able, the lives to touch. If they're not in the business today, it's because they don't want to be. But the ones that came through my life, they are somebody's. And they have a genealogy. They, they are of themselves, their heart, their vision. And oh, by the way, they came through Cheryl Miller Design.